Keanu Reeves continues to prove to be one of the few bright spots left in Hollywood, and after all the disgusting attacks that he has had to deal with, we are now getting even more information about some of the horrible things that Keanu Reeves, as a person, as an actor working in Hollywood, had to deal with when it comes to some of the horrible elites that are in Hollywood. And the thing that I have to say right here is that I respect Keanu Reeves so much for defying those elites and some of the terrible things that they wanted him to do so and because of that he got blacklisted this is absolutely insane so let's get into this whole story here i didn't work with them again john wick four star keanu reeves was blacklisted for refusing to basically do the demands of these elites keanu reeves is the internet's darling the actor is known for his char charitable personality and kind nature after all he put his rising career on hold to take care of his sister who was diagnosed with cancer he moved close closer to her cooked her meals and ensured that she took her meds but reeves good deeds are not limited to just his family he gifted the stuntmen of john wick chapter 4 personalized rolex watches however not everyone loves the matrix actor in fact he was allegedly blacklisted by a studio for refusing to do what they wanted that is absolutely disgusting but that is totally hollywood okay if you don't do what they want you to do then they will try to do everything that they can to destroy you and destroy your career we see it happening all the time and keanu reeves of all people is no exception to that, which is just insane to me. Keanu Reeves revealed that he was put in movie jail because he refused to obey one of the biggest studios of that time, Fox. The company wanted him to star in a sequel to Speed with Sandra Bullock, but Reeves refused and this irked the studio. However, Bullock returned to reprise her role, and uh, so there's a lot of drama that happened with that. Reeves had opted to play Hamlet on stage in Winnipeg instead of doing the film. However, it looks like not doing the film was the right move because the 1997 sequel bombed at the box office. Huh. Interesting. Well done, Keanu Reeves. It also widely was considered to be one of the worst sequels of all time. Thankfully, Reeves wasn't sidelined by Fox Studios forever, as per the actor. I didn't work with Fox again until the day the Earth stood still, which came out years later. So Reeves was in movie jail for almost a decade. Which is just insane. And during that time, there was so much that was going on with Keanu Reeves' personal life as well. It's just absolutely insane how these studios will act. And how they feel like that they can almost like enslave actors to do their bidding. And we see that happening not just with this type of stuff. But with ideology, with political beliefs, with religion, and all sorts of different things in Hollywood as well. However, the days of Reeves worrying about which studio favors him or not are probably gone. After all, the actor now leads the famous john wick franchise which is an absolutely just total success 110 percent and if you guys haven't gone and seen john wick 4 yet i highly recommend it i also recommend going to see dungeons and dragons 2 as well by the way that film was actually pretty pretty great i had a great time with it and i i I, it was just a blast. So with all that being said, let me know what you think about everything insane that happened with Keanu Reeves. It's absolutely crazy how these studios act, especially to even people like Keanu Reeves. It's just absolutely disgusting. But Keanu Reeves doesn't have to worry about that because the internet has his back. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.